smash puny squirrel. Get out of the way, squirrel. Hulk smash anyone who know like this review. On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have another round of great LEGO Marvel mechs. We've got Hulk, we've got Ghost Rider, we've got Thanos is back, and of course, Rocket. So new mechs for 2020 Squee. And as you can see here, some of the mechs we have built over the last few years. Iron Man, of course, Black Panther from last year was a lot of fun. The Wolverine, also a great build. I really like the way those animantium claws turned out. And Thor back there too. Captain America is around here somewhere, so is Spider-Man. Where did they go? Lots of mechs, and now four more to construct. So let's get to these and see what the new mechs are gonna do. Subscribe, Hulk. Hulk Stampede. Subscribe. Squirrel Stampede. Since I've been reading lots of original Avengers lately, I gotta check out the Hulk mech armor first. Set number 76241, 138 pieces. Not really sure why the Hulk needs a mech, but in this universe, it's pretty cool. Inside the box, one small booklet of instructions. This bag of large pieces, this bag of small pieces, and a very important piece of rebar. And let's hulk out the construction of this mech. And it is our Hulk mech armor constructed. What is that Thanos squirrel back there doing a face palm? Again, Hulk doesn't really require a mech, but I'm sure there's some sort of Avengers mission that may require this. And in fact, with the addition of the Hulk mech armor, we can add to our Iron Man mech armor from a few years ago, and our Thor mech armor, and we almost have the founding members of the Avengers, just now needing only an Ant-Man and Wasp mech armor. They could probably have the Wasp driving the Ant-Man armor. So they're almost there with that. So the Hulk armor, pretty cool, pretty bright green. I love the green brick color they chose, and a little bit of a lime green as well. Feels like they found ways for maybe slightly less pieces with the angle bracket legs now. I like the angle bracket because they're stronger, but then we lose that knee joint. Hulk is a pretty thick dude, so he's not really going to need those knee joints. Plenty of other points of articulation though. We've got ball joints at the shoulder points. No elbow points though because again, angle brackets. But we certainly have very large scale fingers, each articulated. Rotation point at the waist hip ball joints, and ball joints at the ankles. Plus this very awesome steel girder. Well, plastic steel girder, right? So it's a fun mech armor to add into the group, especially because of the color green. I don't think I have a very bright colored green mech armor to end the group. And we get a Hulk minifigure. I only have a large scale Hulk figures, not a minifigure. So that's a pretty cool inclusion with the Hulk mech armor. Hulk close up, sporting some very detailed chest. Also a face that is not so angry. And for a quick comparison to your regular beefed up Hulk sized figure. Now I believe I do have one of these also in this very vibrant green, but for some reason he has hulked off on me. So this one is probably more of an Infinity War style Hulk, some series at some point. But you can see now a minifigure scale of Hulk, which is kind of handy to have. I think that's pretty neat. So if you haven't run into a Hulk figure before and would like a minifigure of this scale, the mech provides that. Hulk, now smash this review! Ah, ah, Stand back, I say, stand back! It's a good quick build, and these are always some of the most playful builds of the Marvel line. So with that, Hulk, you can go over somewhere and smash something, and we can move on to our next mech. Since we've seen Thanos before, let's continue checking new. This is Rocket Mech Armor, set number 76243, 98 pieces. Only 98 pieces, wow, that's very light. But we do get a nice Rocket minifigure, and there we go on the back. Rocket even has some sort of cannon weapon ready to go. Inside the box, one booklet of instructions, one bag of mostly large pieces, one bag of mostly smaller pieces, and there may or may not be stickers, I have not found them yet. Let's mech up the armor, Rocket.
and the rocket mech armor constructed. Here's a fun one, another fun one. You can certainly see the low count in pieces though with the basic thin-legged ankle brackets, but they still work okay. I think the best part though is this big fluffy tail shooting out the back. A big raccoon tail identifier coming back here with the rocket thrust engine. So the back build here is the signature look of this mech. And I suppose it would be a lightweight mech as Rocket is a little bit smaller. He's not a full-size human, right? So he's gonna have a more dainty mech, if you could say that. One arm, he has claws, ball-jointed shoulders, hip rotation, ball-jointed hips, and ankles. These aren't my favorite feet. They did the same thing with Black Panther, if you recall. And I get that they're trying to go with a more cat and or animal look with a smaller footprint, but it sure helps in positioning and standing to have a much larger footprint. And we're talking mechs here, so I would have rather had Rocket's feet very close to what the Hulk's feet look like. Rocket does feature a six stud shooter on his right arm there. These are always fun and we've got refills for, I believe, um, well now I have 11. I think there's 12 included and that one just shot into, I just need to clean my studio. I like the orange look of this one. It will stand out well with the other mechs of the past few years. And of course, now we also have a Rocket minifigure. I only seem to have a couple Rocket figures in my Marvel collection. So this Rocket minifig is in brown with a very bright orange jumpsuit with some goldish tan markings on it. I believe this Rocket was from, oh, maybe Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 but it could have also been from the Avengers Infinity War. I'm not sure on that one. But we are missing a tail. We do not have a tail with this rocket. That's kind of a bummer. Unless it like jumped out and ran off somewhere. So there's different variations of rocket now. I really can't decide which one I prefer on coloring. I do say I like the little shoulder pads and tail, of course, on this one. But this one has goggles. All in all, another fun mech to add to a great series of yearly mechs. And again, the raccoon tail on the back, five stars. Should we make Thanos Squirrel wait even longer? Yeah, let's make him wait longer with the very oversized Ghost Rider mech and bike. Thank you to a few Squirrel Libers who pointed this one out. I almost missed it just seeing the smaller mech sets. Got Ghost Rider on a bike. Set number 76245, 264 pieces, surprisingly. I would have guessed a few more pieces in there, but it must be efficient. Over on the back of the build, got the bike, we've got the mech, we've got Ghost Rider. And I do not believe I have any Ghost Rider minifigures. Inside the box, obviously a larger book of instructions. Bag one of pieces, probably I'm guessing Ghost Rider. And bag two, probably guessing his bike. I see a tire in there. So let's check out this abnormally huge mech with a bike, the Rider of Ghost. But before we do, let's take a quick break with the Candy Sweetheart Coercion Part 4. The squirrels are tricked into attacking each other. Whack! Barry, big gray squirrel, stop! Don't you see what's happening? As chainsaws and bombs are pulled out. The candy sweetheart looks on through the window. Look up at the window, it's a candy sweetheart. As Landry is about to get chainsawed and it's projecting evil messages. We have to resist their influences. Fight, says the candy sweetheart. Barry prepares acid. Whoa! Is this the end for Landry? Hold on, another mysterious beam appears. Oh no, not again. What? The candy sweetheart projects. To be continued.
and it's the Ghost Rider mech and bike. A little bit different than just your standard mech. We've now got Ghost Rider mech on his classic bike. I really know next to nothing about Ghost Rider though. Does the bike have a name? Is it like Skullface? What is it? I don't know. For whatever reason, never read or watched too much Ghost Rider. But it is a fun mech to include into this series because he's pretty iconic, you know, flaming skull, right? The bike build was really interesting after working on so many mechs, it felt pretty technical. And the mech, of course, just snaps right easily up on the back there on the chair. So you've got both the mech and the bike to build. Looking at the mech first, kind of simplistic like Rocket, more of those angle brackets for legs and arms, so no ball joints in those knees or elbows. Kind of sad, LEGO is slowly getting more simplistic year after year. What's going to happen in like five years? Are we going to just have a stick figure mechs? I mean, there's not going to be much left on them. Uh, if they keep going this route, but they did enough to make it look interesting still. I like the chain work, placing a Ghost Rider's chain weapon whip up on the front here and wrapping around to the back. It gives it a really nice biker look. Uh, back with these small feet again though, I do not like the small feet. Uh, double wide would have been nice for more fun stability. Uh, each arm with claw hand fingers, uh, three, three mech fingers on there. And uh, pretty basic, we've got little diamond sparkling uh, gear to make it look like a biker outfit. Uh, and again, I've never built a Ghost Rider minifigure, so that is an extra bonus for me, because he is a pretty iconic character for Marvel. It doesn't seem like LEGO gets to Ghost Rider often, I know there's been some past sets, but what a great headpiece there. A skull piece with flaming fire, probably an extra little piece glued on top there. I do not believe it's, it's removable, it is glued on there. A leather jacket, just a great sinister face on the dude. A nice little biker jacket, so a great little minifigure. And there is some understanding that the mech on this one would be a little basic because of the fact that it is attached to this full-blown bike. Look at this bike, pretty fun, pretty intricate build actually. I love the little engine work in here with the little telephone side pieces, placed on here with the chair, uh, some reinforced Technic angle brackets going. Great front end of the skull face on the front of the bike, handlebars to grip onto, and then all this flame, all this Infernite's flame shooting off the back of this bike. So really cool and easy to get him on. There's just a simple clip on his bum, <laughs> place that on here, and you can get Ghost Rider onto his bike pretty solidly. He's not gonna fall off. Well, he may if you're really rough, but he's gonna hold on pretty tightly, and it is a great display piece. So. Kind of fun to have a mech suit armor with a little more played into this one. It would look great as a shelf display of the many mechs of the past few years. So I'll hop Ghost Rider right off screen for a little bit and we can check on our last mech, 2020 Squee. Finally, Thanos Squirrel, you can feel good. As for some reason, Thanos returns in the mech armor. Must have been a good seller from before. Although I already see one downgraded build to it. We've just got the standard Infinity Gauntlet there. Whereas before, we got to actually build it, which was so much more fun. I guess they needed a villain for the mech series this year, and they wanted to give Thanos a refresh. Let's get open. Like the first two, inside the box, small booklet of instructions, bag of large pieces, bag of small, and a couple blades of Thanos. Let's build up our last mech of the day. And here we have Thanos Mech Armor 2.0 constructed. A little more McDonald's Grimace-esque with his purple shoulders exposed. Basic Infinity Gauntlet and really quite menacing double-edged sword blade. We're continuing on with the angle brackets for the knees and elbows. That's really too bad. I miss those secondary ball joints in there. They really create a little bit of extra fun and miniaturization in the construction. These are getting pretty basic now going through this full new collection. Although there is something to be said about the stability of these elbows and knees. They'll take a pounding pretty well. Bringing back Squanos, our Squirrel Thanos who had taken the mech from, I believe, this Thanos. You can see a little more detail played into those ankles, shins, and elbows and arms. 
and they did have some sticker detail on the old set. I imagine though there'll be some mixed feelings on this Infinity Gauntlet option. Before we built each finger and hand in the gauntlet like so, really quite stunning with this golden circular plate there. Now we've just got the standard Lego fist and gauntlet, which is kind of cool too. It's cool that they give you all these extra stones. That's kind of a bonus. So it's not all bad, and I think they've altered it enough to feel like it's its own build. Obviously, if you did not get a chance at Thanos, I believe it was at least not last year, but two years ago, now you have a chance at a Thanos mech. I probably should say something quick about the Thani. The new mech armor Thanos has purple arms exposed and a little bit more of a grouchy face stern. More eyeshadow makeup, perhaps. Whereas the previous Thanos mech had the full red glowy eyes. Must have been mid-snap. So there's some slight differences between the two, which makes this help out, since it is a second mech edition. Oh, and there's their backs, and Thanos Squirrel is ready to take on them both. So out of the new mechs available, what are my favorites? I think I'm gonna have to go with Hulk and Ghost Rider. The Ghost Rider option was just a little more fun this time with the bike included. It's too bad they couldn't have figured out some other options on placing these mechs onto something. Of course, that would have added to the price point. I imagine one of the benefits of this small scale line is they are perfect gift sets. They usually run around $10 and are pretty easy to pick up for a gift. Ghost Rider, of course, the exception would cost probably two to three times as much. And so let's add these into some of the other mechs we've collected over the years. It's starting to be a winter tradition here to pick up a few new Marvel mechs from LEGO. We've got Iron Man back there, I think one of the originals. Captain America with that shield was amazing. Last year we had Black Panther added into the group and looked terrific. Those claws, those claws! Uh, not Hulk again. And of course, Wolverine also with giant claws. Those adamantium claws are incredibly cool on that one. Interesting that Wolverine got into the Marvel group here. Have not seen any other of the X-Men. And Spider-Man! Spider-Man's here! I just built that one myself last week. I never had that one up for review for some reason. Couldn't find it or something. So a great assortment of mech armor. It's fun that you get the minifigure and then just this oversized version of them. Makes a good way to collect and keep those minifigures always available as you can just find them inside their mech armor. And that is this year's Marvel Mech Armor assortment from LEGO. What do you think? Pretty interesting. Hulk is so, so strong. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamet your favorite new mech armor. Thanks so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.